Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from about to be rainy Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be no one is safe. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. So no one is safe. I'm going to jump right into it. This is because you are a human being. You were born on this planet called Earth and virtually anything can happen to you or us at any time, any moment in time on any given day. Now, if you're watching this video and you're on my channel, and again, thank you very much for being here, it's because you most likely are and or were in a narcissistic abusive relationship, or you're just getting the wisdom and the education on your own, which is absolutely amazing if, if you're doing this without having gone through the narcissistic abusive cycle. But the point is, is we're all human beings and no one is safe. What, what this means is things happen to people. People get ill, people get diseases, people get in accidents people enter narcissistic abusive relationships you get my point now so whereas when you were in the narcissistic relationship or let's say you're still in it right now and you're getting the wisdom you're actually understanding you're becoming awakened and aware and then you're perhaps you're looking around and you're saying to yourself like well, how did this happen to me why me what's going on like everyone else's life seems so perfect it seems they, they just seem like they're they have everything going for them they don't believe me when I tell you each and every one of us on the planet has our own secret battles, battles that we are facing. Now you again who are watching the video, you most likely are experiencing the narcissistic abusive cycle. Maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's a coworker, who knows, but you're on the channel for a reason, getting wisdom, getting education, reading, reading the comments and dropping your experiences and insight there also to share everything. Point being, if you really dig into yourself, I'm certain you're battling more than one issue right now. I'm not gonna mention any more, but you get my point. See, everything isn't always as it appears on this planet, meaning you may look at uh, prime examples. You'll look at TV shows or sitcoms or movies or whatever, and everything always seems so perfect, doesn't it? It seems like really great. It's not. Everybody has struggles. Every single person on this planet has struggles, no matter who you are. Pe many people are battling with more than one issue, multiple issues, myself included. Why I'm saying that is because the narcissistic abusive cycle, it has challenged you like anything, unlike anything you've ever gone through in your life. A prime example I give you on the channel frequently is, let's say you know you broke a bone in your arm. Well, if you go to the doctor and it's healed and it's mended properly or set properly, then after four to six weeks, my hope is your arm gets back to as good as it possibly can be and you're getting strength again, but that's how every human being is our bones work the same for the most part having said that the narcissistic abusive cycle isn't like that when you're in it you don't know what's going on when you get out of it it is a whole different element and you have to process things and in time in your time you will become awakened and aware and you will understand why you entered the narcissistic relationship how it affected you what you need to do to remove yourself from it or what you needed to do the pros the cons of how the relationship did or did not benefit you and let's be real that is an exercise everybody in this channel should be doing because that list will open your eyes massively. But having said that, many people on the planet do not experience narcissistic abuse the way you did. In other words, they're not getting the wisdom because they, either they didn't understand that they were in a relationship like that, or perhaps they're still in the narcissistic fog living a zombie life, or perhaps they just, they didn't, they're not fortunate enough to get it. Like they didn't have the craving. Now you are on the channel because you want the information you need it because you need to put the pieces of the puzzle together and that's a great thing but why I'm saying that is because so many people on the planet they won't experience narcissistic abuse or they won't get the education that is why we you and myself and many people on the channel virtually everybody we speak a separate language that only we can communicate it's our superpower it's a fact and once you've come through the fire and risen through the ashes like a phoenix you will see the third version of you the best version of you possible come out of the ashes of that narcissistic relationship this is a superpower trust trust me when I tell you it's not something you wanted to experience but it is a superpower now getting back to the thumbnail no one is safe we're all human beings things happen to us life can change your life can change on a dime tomorrow I mean suppose you get an email tomorrow saying you just got that great job and promotion and you have to move halfway around the world well congratulations that's beautiful Maybe you just got into a new school or university. Fantastic. Maybe you started a web site. Excellent. Maybe you're running for the first time. Maybe you just kicked a habit. In other words, perhaps you stopped 
smoking or eating sugar or watching Netflix. You get my point? These are all things that your life changes in so many different directions and it, it is not always a not good direction, but let's be real, the narcissistic relationship was a negative direction. It was a direction that you did not think you would be going on, but you did, why? Because when you entered the relationship, you thought it was gonna be a smooth ride with an individual who's on the same path as you, headed in the same direction, that's not the case. The narcissist wanted to isolate you, they wanted to take from you, they wanted to have you become an extension of them. They did not want you living your best life. What they wanted to do was to extract your resources from you, which I say so often on the channel, but it's a fact, which includes your time, your money, your love, your energy, your empathy, your circle of friends, your social status, perhaps your business or job. There are so many different ways that this happens. But getting back, no one is safe. We're, no one is safe. Prime example is an asteroid could hit the planet right now. Now, do I want it to happen? No, do you? Absolutely not, but it could happen. Probably in a million years or so, this will happen. I don't, I don't know exactly when, but let's be real, law of averages, it will. But if you sit here and think about it, oh my gosh, an asteroid's gonna hit the planet, what are we gonna do? No, that's not living your best life. That is called living in the future and the what if possibilities. And you already did that when you're in the narcissistic relationship. Remember future faking? Another aspect is living in the past, going back in time, trying to replay things over and over again and thinking, should I have done something different? Could I have done something different? Oh my gosh, are they really a narcissist? I don't know. Well, once you've healed properly, you understand that what happened happened. And the truth of the matter is that person will never change. And wherever they are right now on the planet, they're abusing somebody else the new supply and why that is, it just can't be changed, let's put it that way. That's why you need to live in the present moment, the right here and right now. That's what I do each and every day. I suggest you do the same. So no one is safe, we're, no one is safe. We're human beings and things happen. If you go back in time a couple years ago, something hit the planet globally, remember? Exactly, we didn't expect that, but yet here we are. Most of us are still around and that's a good thing. Now, having said that, most people, Let's say, let's talk about the flying monkeys, for example. The flying monkeys, or people that were not there for you when the relationship ended, they weren't there for you because they, they, honestly, to be fair, they didn't care about you. If they did, they would have checked in on you. But on top of that, they, it may have seemed like to you in the past that they were living their best lives. And maybe they were. But again, I am certain since your relationship ended, time has gone by. And as time has gone by, what has happened is perhaps they are now in a different situation. Perhaps their circumstances have changed. I can assure you, people's circumstances change frequently. They really do. And from day to day, week to week, month to month, we never know what is gonna happen. We just don't know. And why I'm saying that is because if you really think about this to yourself, that you, the individual watching the video, you had it very difficult. You had a, a challenging time. One of the most difficult times you've ever experienced in your life. That's a fact but other people will go through, through things too. And as we talk right now, as I'm talking, I'm certain other individuals are going through other things too. You just don't know about it. Think about your own family. Your family like aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters. I'm not talking the narcissist, I'm talking healthy individuals. Perhaps they're going through difficult times right now and maybe they're not sharing it with you. You get my point? That's why I'm saying that, yes, you did have to go through the narcissistic abusive cycle. There was no other way. There was no other option. We know that now. That's what makes you you, unfortunately you had to go through it, just like me. But now you're a better version of yourself. You're learning, you're growing, you're teaching if you can. And other individuals, as I create this video, are having challenging times. You see, life is not always up and to the right. It's not always puppies and rainbows, it's not linear. Every day isn't better than the day before. Now, do we wish it were? Absolutely, I certainly do. But it's not the way it is. The way it is is you have to take the good with the not so good and you have to enjoy the great times and pause. That's why I suggest living in the moment, in the pleasant, present moment, because you need to enjoy the good times and the wins and the successes. And then when you perhaps fall back, let's say the example with the narcissistic relationship, perhaps you're ruminating. Well, if you're ruminating, understand that, okay, that happened and you're just on the healing path. Reframe it, understand that you're growing and that this will pass in time, in your time. I can assure you it will pass. So why I'm saying that again is because no one is safe not one of us, we're all human beings. We all will unfortunately exit the planet at one point in time. Just like the narcissistic relationship has an expiration date, so does everybody's life. But do we sit here and think about it? No, you should be living your best life. 
capturing each moment, creating memories, being happy, being loved, loving, starting a business, taking a class, teaching a class, reading a book, writing a book, living your best life. Now, this is for those of you who have, who have healed. It's for those of you who are on the healing path. If your relationship ended recently, believe me, I get it. You have a lot of work ahead of you. But believe me, if you put your, if you put all the hard work and commitment into yourself, like so many thousands of people have on the channel, you too will come through this and you will be the best version of yourself, which is the third version of yourself. So guys, understand the message. No one is safe. It's not a message of doom and gloom. It's a message of abundance, of happiness, of growth, of prosperity, of understanding that you needed to go through the relationship to get to where you are in time. And now more than ever, your time is the most precious commodity we have on the planet. That's exactly how I see it because you can't get time back. You can always earn more money. You can always travel. You can always do what you want to do, but time, you can't get it back. That's why you need to live in the present moment right here, right now. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay true, stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand no one is safe. That's not a doom and gloom message. It's just letting you know you need to maximize your time here on the planet. You need to do the best you possibly can. If not now, when? Specifically post-narcissistic relationship. You've learned so much. You've grown so much. You owe it to yourself and those loved and trusted ones around you to be the best version of yourself possible. Guys, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. I love you. Have a great afternoon and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. And the, there were kids playing, so I had to move. First time ever I've recorded standing up, but maybe I'll do it more often. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.